It's time for another eFix Meet the Manufacturer, and we've got one of our favourite manufacturers in today. It is Wago, or is it Wago? We're going to find out in a little while. But it's my pleasure to introduce David Draper and Carl Dakin from Wago. And I guess I'll start with that first thing. Is it Wago? Is it Wago, as our American friends sometimes say? Or is it Vago? Uh, it's most definitely Vargo, but depending on who you speak to, if you bring in like a customer, you may have to say Wago for them to know who you are. Ah, right, okay. So that the official is it's Vargo. If, if, I'm, if I'm circulating in Wago establishment, Vargo establishments <laughs> all over the world, that'll be, yeah, that's, that, I'd get into trouble if it was uh, pronounced wrongly. Yeah, yeah. Very much Vargo. Very much Vargo, right. So we've got that one. So. Anyone who's commented our videos over the last three years, you were right. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But again, we do call it Wago, and we're going to try and come up in this video with 10 things that you might not have known about Vargo. So stay on for the 10th one, because there's an exciting one at number 10. Oh, yeah, and Ooh. you can actually, yeah, it's the cash. Cash involved, and we like cash. <laughs> so, I mean, so moving on from, from Vargo. Yep. Yep. Where does the Vargo name come from? Uh, it comes from the fact that when the Hohurst family bought the patent many years ago, um, the original inventors of that was a gentleman called Mr. Wagner right. and Mr. Albrecht. Ah, right, and okay. so you take the W-A-G from Wagner mm -hmm. and the, the O <laughs> from Albrecht, right. and that's where you get Vargo from. They, they decided to sort of honour them. Right, so it sounds like sounds like the uh, the, the Wagner he was more important because he got three letters into the name. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's an interesting thing, isn't it? So before, obviously, the fantastic connectors came out. They used to do something else. They did. They used to sell and make carpets. Right. Now that's yeah. So carpets. That's uh... so these carpets. I'm thinking about these carpets now, Gordon. So obviously they come and they they fit with no tools. Obviously, don't they? You sort of slide them in position. You can imagine lifting up the threshold, couldn't you? Just poking the carpet and, and laying the threshold back down. Yeah. No gripper rods. Yeah, no <laughs> gripper rods. Yeah, and that's it. So if you have any room size remnants left over from the uh, from the Vargo carpet mm. factory, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. If, anyone's, if anyone has, if anyone knew that, put a comment in below. So that's it. Well, so moving on. So when, when did the move from carpet to connectors happen? A, a lot longer than people might imagine. 1951 is when they bought that patent. Right. Okay. Uh, so, so I'd like to say there that Gordon remembers that happening. You were 25, <laughs> 26, about around that time, the old time face. Was that when it, when it is? <laughs> uh, you're getting rolled up in that carpet <laughs> soon. So, <laughs> yeah. so and that was... That wasn't screwless connector. That was screwless connector. That was the first screwless connector, and no. then there's been several different sort of variants of that come out, like the compact um, cage clamp, the pushing cage clamp, things like that. So over the, the preceding subsequent years, even um, we've developed it to make it better, basically. Wow! So getting on near now for nearly seventy years of screwless connectors, yeah, yeah, and yet some people still haven't heard of them. Into, it's a new, this new thing. Carl, you still, now tune in. Carl <laughs> take on our electrician's chat. He was new to a screwdriver. <laughs> Absolutely. But a lot of people still think it's some sort of alien concept. And yeah. Even now at trade shows, you'll be amazed how many electricians haven't come across our product before. Yeah. Wow. And that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. And so Vargo today, uh, you know, still a family business? Yep. Still a family business, still owned by the Hohurst family. Um, yeah, and, and going strong. Right, and going strong. Now, now, when you say strong, yep. how does that turn into, into turnover? Turnover, this, just the last year, 2021, we actually achieved one, over 1 billion euros for the first time. So it's, it's, a, it's a real massive company. Yeah. That's a lot of connectors. Oh, I'm going say it's a very nice carpet in the house of the owner as well, wouldn't it be, if you're, you're turning over a billion? So it just goes, to, just, just pause there for a moment. So, so the person that was, first of all, invested in carpets had enough insight back then to flip the business almost and go into connectors. Now, that's somebody I would suggest that can see round corners. Okay, some people have that ability, don't they? They can see what's going to happen in the world before it happens. We can perhaps use our, our good friend of the makers of the Tesla, who's obviously now owner of part of Twitter. It's somebody else who can see around corners, isn't it? Yeah. That, that gentleman back then, or those two gentlemen, had enough foresight to see into the connector world. Yeah, yeah, this, and so obviously, so the turnover, employees that produce that turnover? Oh, around the world now, we've probably got just over 8,600, something like that. So. Yeah. Wow. That's a big employer. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. It is, yeah. 
That's it. I mean, yeah. So you wouldn't you wouldn't think that. Obviously, we we you know probably our electrician visitors they'll probably see you at a trade show. They'll see Carl now, who's been with a company. How long now, Carl? Uh, just over a year. Yeah, just over a year. So see Doctor and think yeah, this yeah there is a massive machine behind it. Yeah, there's uh, over one hundred and thirty in the UK alone. Yeah, and then that machine behind obviously you've got to make things, which is obviously a fantastic thing to do, manufacturing stuff. Yeah. How many factories produce? Those connectors. Uh, we have nine factories, um, twenty sort of sales offices that are Fargo owned, and then we're present in oh crikey, over eighty countries. Right. And when you say factories, these are factories owned by the business. We're not subbing out. You know, yeah. We're actually physically there. The Vargo factories. So. Uh, Vargo are probably one of the only manufacturers that actually make all their own connectors, so we can guarantee. The quality. And then that comes back to our guarantees as a hefty guarantee with them as well, isn't it? It is a hefty guarantee, yeah. I, I mean, they're made in Switzerland, Germany, Poland, you know, um, America. They're made, but they're all made in Volgo factories and we guarantee that quality 100%. Yeah, yeah. and that's not, so the companies made, they may make some bits of the range and then they sort of fill in with a bit from here and fill in with a bit from there. Yeah. There's a lot of our competitors that actually badge products that, yeah, and, and you know, if you badge something, you can't guarantee that product. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I mean, and we'd love to see around the factory. We're hinting that we might want to visit one of those factories, especially the one in Switzerland. Switzerland, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah We've gone through the list, Switzerland, yeah. We'd like to go to the American one, but we'll, we'll pitch for Switzerland on that yeah. one, won't we? So, the connectors, obviously, you only make three part numbers, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we do. 221412, 413, and 415. Yeah. No, there's, joking aside, there's over 30 odd thousand different part numbers um, that we do. And it's your specialist subject, isn't it, Carl? You can start from the first one and you can go through all 30,000. That's the reason you got the job. You did it in the interview, didn't you? Yeah, you absolutely. That? Yeah, yeah. They were mind blown to my, uh, to my de in depth knowledge of the Vargo product range. Yeah. And I mean, it always amazes me. There's always something, something yeah, that is the first thing we always struggle with. We get a new product and the product range is pretty immense in terms of scope and flexibility. And yeah, it can take you a while to navigate your way around those part numbers, but it's, I would encourage anyone to have a look in there and just see how deep that range goes. But it isn't just connectors now, is it? It's not, no. We do lighting management, we do energy management, um, you know, so basically anything where you, you want to monitor what a machine's doing or what energy consumption you've got going on. We've got all sorts of different software, such as FlexRoom, that can bring all that together for you in, in a central place. Yeah. Now, I mean, Gary alluded to my age, but it's not, not as old as Gary, obviously. <laughs> but my first time using, I think, a Vargo connector was in a, actually in a DIN rail connector. Yep. And now, but you've gone beyond the DIN rail as well, and you're at the PLCs and, and all the industrial side as well, isn't it? So it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The automation's a, a massive growing business for us. So, yeah, yeah the, the interconnect is what we'd call our bread and butter business, but... Yeah. The automation is, is certainly where the future lies. Yeah, and at the end of that, yeah, at the end of that interconnect, you've got that. So, um, well, I mean, I think we've done nine there for the person who's closely that, counting. Well, that was yeah. quick, wasn't it? That was all right. I'm sure, that, I'm sure there was nine things I didn't know about yeah. uh, Fargo. Fargo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, you, if you've got another nine, put them in. But, Carl, you've got a tenth one that's pretty special, I'm sure everyone will want to know about. Absolutely. I'm excited to announce that since March the 1st, um, We've uh, launched our biggest ever competition uh, for electricians uh, called Win With Vargo. So the star prize in November is a fully expensed uh, electric van for over three years. And that's everything kind of including your electricity, your business livery um, and, and things like that. So it's an amazing prize. That prize alone is, is worth over £45,000. So. Wow. Do you throw in a box of two two ones as well? I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can. I'm sure yeah. we can. <laughs> but then that, and the inline one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So how, if I'm if I'm an electrician, how do I enter that competition? Yeah, it's it's really simple actually. Uh, if you purchase any of our box products from the two two one series, which includes the brand new two two one inline or the two seven seven three series, uh, you'll see a little kind of win with Vargo peel and reveal label. Simply peel it back, uh, scan the QR code, enter your details, and then you'll be entered into to win the van. But not only the van, uh, but we've got amazing monthly prizes leading up to, to the van in November as well. Well, wow. I mean, that sounds like something you'd want to win. We're going to be scanning that as soon as we, we get off, uh, off camera. We've already done a few. Uh, check out the review we made on the Wago 221 in line. We've also used it in loads of videos already. If there's something else you'd like to know about Wago, put it in the comments below. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Carl or David would be delighted to answer them. But, yeah. We'll do our best. Absolutely. Thanks for dropping in. And check them out on the Electrician's Challenge. That is a treat.